Welcome back, Royals. Today we are talking front door decor. As part of my Spring It On series, I will be transforming my last season's summer wreath into a spring floral masterpiece. To see how I do that, sit back, relax, and keep on watching. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. I miss your touch from your hands and your body. So much to think of you as someone else Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me all right guys now that i have all of the summer themed items removed from the wreath i am now going to begin laying the foundation for this floor garden that i have in my head during my purging phase of the year i came across this wreath and i thought it was in fair condition but i knew that i didn't want to use it for the summer season but i saw no reason to totally discard it because the foundation of the piece was very well intact and so here is a tip to you if you have an old item or wreath or floral arrangement and you just want something a little different think of ways you can change it tweak it to make it fit into the theme that you are currently desiring it saves you money it invokes creativity and it gives you a custom look that is all your own The beauty of using a grapevine wreath, you guys, is that it gives you pretty much an anchor or a foundation to attach your florals into. So no need to create a foundation. The twigs of the wreath itself is the foundation. So you'll see me just simply insert all of my floral picks into the twines of this grapevine wreath base. Also guys, this is a no cost transformation. I am using items that I had from last spring and revamping them for this season. I always tell you guys to shop your home and come up with ways to reinvent those beautiful items that you purchased. You loved it when you purchased it, so find another reason to fall in love with it all over again. And as you see me create this floral wreath, you will see exactly what I mean. Lately my thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds Stuck in this room that keeps spinning Wondering how you been, where you hide Late night drinking, wishful thinking What if you were here?
Lately there's something that's missing Empty bed doesn't feel empty hearts Typical me reminiscing A memory doesn't heal open scars Late night drinking wishful thinking What if you were here Morning and waking Heart still aching Something about the way you make me feel I don't wanna mess up your night All right, guys, as you can see, I have no rhyme or reason as to what I want this wreath to look like. I have a theme in mind, but the overall look, I am literally just going with what I feel in the moment. So you saw me finagle the bows and readjust those to get it to what I'm liking or what I'm desiring. And that's what I would do throughout the entire creation of this wreath. Just go with what I feel and what looks right to me in the moment. So don't sweat it, guys. If it doesn't turn out a certain way in the beginning, just tweak it until it fits your desire.
All right, guys, I am feeling so good about this romantic garden thing that I have created with the wreath that I have decided to continue on in this vein of creativity. When I'm in the zone, I just go with what I feel and I am loving what I have so far. So adding the finishing touches, we're going to hop into bonus clips, guys. I'm going to go ahead and create some coordinating arrangements to go along with this wreath that I've made. So starting with the base of some Dollar Tree items. I'm using just one of the serving, the plastic serving plates and the foam from Dollar Tree. Easy peasy guys. Anchoring it down with glue to keep it nice and secure because these items will be displayed in areas that will get a little bit of traffic and a little bit of wind. So when doing that, you wanna consider the foundation of your pieces. So I needed something that was gonna be nice and secure and endure different elements. Again, using items that I already had, I am simply just cutting my stems away from the floral bushes and I'm going to proceed with creating a beautiful coordinating arrangement for the spring season. All right, now that everything is removed, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the arrangement. I am simply going to insert the floors into this foam base, you guys, and I'm gonna simply rotate it until I create a nice full volume arrangement that is pleasing and coordinating with the look. Again, I'm just going with what I feel. I have no rhyme or reason here. I am just in the moment and thinking this would be really nice on a front door escape. So let's see what happens. And guys, I want to encourage you at this point to find something that makes your heart happy. Find something that brings you joy, that is therapeutic for you. In this moment, I am just so enjoying it. This is very therapeutic. I am listening to one of my favorite ministers on Alexa, and I am just taking it all in. Just grateful of the moment, just in prayer, in gratitude, and just feeling the vibes of this evening just take sometimes take time to just do what makes you happy if it is crossword puzzles if it is reading a book if it is listening to a podcast whatever it is take time for self and it may seem odd but this to me is self-care break away from that day-to-day -day mundane thing and just do something that takes you to a place of comfort, a place of relaxation. That is the ultimate self-care, whether it's prayer, it's meditation, it's taking a walk, it's working out, whatever it is, guys, do something for you. And being creative is an outlet that gives me so much peace and tranquility.
all right guys for the second arrangement i realized i wanted more height so as opposed to dismantling the floral bush i decided to keep it intact and simply spread the floral pieces out i will continue the same technique as the first but i needed a little bit more height a little more drama baby that is the royal way and so that is what i did for arrangement number two not to worry i went back and made that same correction or change on arrangement number one Now, I do want to encourage you guys to come back and see how these pieces are styled, where they're styled, and what they're accompanied with. You definitely do not want to miss the finale of my front door spring styling. It is so beautiful, so royal, so me. If you have enjoyed this video and it's your first time visiting, I want to invite you guys to click that subscribe button. Hit those notification bells. Click them twice so that you always know when I upload new content. As you can see, we are full of inspiration, motivation, and so much creativity. And we would love to have you come along on this royal journey with us. Now to my tried and trues and my brand new booze. You kings and queens know that I so love and appreciate you. Thank you all for your continued support. Do me a favor. Leave a comment like comment and share on this video it helps us out tremendously guys we're well on our way to 30k and i want you guys to help us get to that milestone come back on friday because again i will be styling up these pieces and creating that beautiful front door scape if the weather permits of course I want to invite you if you have not already connect with me on my other social media platform guys i can be found at royalty designs with trevino on instagram facebook and TikTok. also i have an amazon store that you can shop seven days a week 24 hours a day to your heart's content you will find some of the pieces in these designs in the store Until the next video, I want you guys to stay safe, remain royal, and have yourselves a blessed and most beautiful, beautiful day. Stick around because there will be a bonus clip of the finished products. Until the next one, bye! you